hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rose Wright and I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. So I don't often plug my social media, but if you want to hang out with me, here is my Instagram and I have a Twitter but I never post on it. Maybe if I had some people to tweet at, I might. Anyways, I hope you enjoy A Miraculous Search, Chapter 4. All the air escaped Ladybug's lungs as she saw the love of her life dangling from the Eiffel Tower by none other than Hawk Moth. Rage filled her core. This wasn't happening. She landed harshly on the building, the cold air whipping her face. She landed harshly on the building, the cold air whipping her face. Rena Rouge and Bunnix trailed behind her. Stop, please. Why are you doing this? Is the miraculous really worth this? Killing someone? Tears filled Ladybug's eyes, but she tried to hold back. She couldn't do this now. In the end, it will all be worth it. To bring her back, I would do anything. You wouldn't understand. Hawk Moth's gaze never broke away from the unconscious Adrian. Or seemingly unconscious. A voice ripped through his throat, catching the entire party off guard. Claws out! Cataclysm! Cat Noir appeared weak, but he wouldn't give up. As long as he was living, he would fight. His right hand was dangerous, glowing a sinister black. If Cat was scared, he didn't show it. He looked more angry than anything. He held his cataclysm hand up to Hawk Moth's chest. With a rasp in his voice, he said, One wrong move, and I'll end you. Right here, right now. An unfazed hawk moth cackled, which echoed through the metal structure. Voyage, the villain said simply. He stuck his free hand through the portal and pulled out something that made everyone audibly gasp. The miraculous box. Hawk moth's mouth twisted in a devilish smile as he saw the expression on everyone's face. That was precisely the reaction he'd hoped for. Hawk moth! A roar escaped Cat Noir as he reached forward to touch him. In that same instant, Hawk Moth put the miraculous box in Cat Noir's path, so his hand collided with it. They all watched in silence as it turned into dust, blowing away in the wind. Cat Noir's hand was still raised as he stared at it, turning it over. How could someone so good be capable of such destruction? All eyes were filled with tears now except for Cat Noir and Hawk Moth. They seemed to be in a hostile staring match. How could you? Cat Noir growled. Stupid boy, if you would just give me your miraculous, we could put an end to this. Was this a game to Hawk Moth? If he truly wanted Cat Noir gone, he'd throw him to his death. There was nothing stopping him. He must have bigger plans. I have to stop him. Never. A smirk crossed his face. In one fluid motion, Cat reached to grab the Butterfly Miraculous. A purple flash lit up the Eiffel Tower. Now, instead of being held by Hawk Moth when his eyes focused on the figure in front of him, it was his father. It was Gabriel Agrest. Father! You! You! How could you! Tears flowed freely down his masked face. Adrian, I had no choice. Gabriel, still holding his son's arm, looked down dejectedly. There's always a choice. And you chose wrong! Without another word, Cat Noir thrashed around in his father's grips, which slowly loosened and then released. Adrian, no! Gabriel reached over the railing of the tower to no avail. His son was falling rapidly, still in shock. This can't be happening, Ladybug thought slightly in denial. The tears overflowed from her eyes. Ladybug lunged headfirst from the tower, fingers outstretched. She desperately tried to reach him. When she grabbed her yo-yo to assist her, she threw it and missed. She couldn't see clearly with the tears distorting her vision. She tried again. Another miss. Adrian! No! Almost there! She was so close. So very close. Close enough for her fingers to barely graze his, but it wasn't enough. 
He fell to the concrete below, his head bouncing slightly. His transformation released with a familiar light, and there was the blonde boy laying, looking broken in every way. No, Adrian. She whispered as she held his barely breathing body. I'm sorry. So sorry that I couldn't save you. I love you. She was hunched over him, tears streaming down onto his chest. The world fell silent. Police cars and ambulances screamed surrounding them. But she heard nothing. Nothing except the shallow sound of his breathing. Then, with one last gasp for air on that cold Paris street in the arms of his new wife, Adrian took his last breath. His spotted bride hid her face in his shirt, doing all she could not to scream. But the pain was too much. He couldn't be gone. Their life together was supposed to begin today, yet it was over nearly as soon as they said, I do. Adrian was only 22. She couldn't do this without him. Ladybug felt dizzy as she spiraled into depression. She'd lost everything in a matter of minutes. She held his hand, twisting his miraculous. With most of the miraculous destroyed, she took a gulp and removed his miraculous slowly. She felt a stabbing pain in her heart. Paramedics rushed to his side to tend to him. The heartbroken hero held the ring in one hand and Plag in the other, who looked up at her with sad, glowing eyes. She didn't feel like a hero. She had failed Adrian. In the end, she wasn't fast enough. And now, she wasn't strong enough to withstand this gut-wrenching pain. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw Rena Rouge and Bunnix approaching with former hawk moth Gabriel Agrest. No, Ladybug thought. I'm not a failure. This is all his fault! The two young ladies escorted him into a police car. Ladybug briskly walked over, leaning in the car, and pulled Gabriel to be mere inches from her face. Gabriel was the first to speak. It's over, Ladybug. I've killed my own son and now I'm going to jail. It's all over now. I tried to save my family, but I destroyed everything. His voice was barely a whisper, his eyes glossy from the tears he had shed. Save his family. Adrian was his family and he killed him! Before Ladybug could interrogate him further, a man approached her, placing a gentle hand on her shoulder. Excuse me, miss. We have to take him now. The officer looked regretful having to talk to her after this tragedy. She didn't meet his eyes. Fine. She released Gabriel's jacket as she turned away. The emergency vehicles were subsiding. The streets were empty. She felt more alone than ever. Ladybug could no longer stand. She sank to her knees, the cobblestone feeling rough as she landed. Spots off, she muttered. Tiki flew to hug her holder's cheek as fresh tears fell. Beside her, Alex and Ollie annealed, their arms around Marinette as she sobbed and sobbed. The world felt darker without Adrian in it. Her sunshine had faded, turning her world to gray. There was no happiness left for her, not without him. For the first time, Marinette didn't have the answer. It seemed as if her luck finally ran out. Thank you so much for listening. I know that was a heavier chapter, but please stay tuned for chapter 5. If you liked this, please subscribe if you haven't already. Stay miraculous!